WUSA 9 Weather Watch Alert is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. Okay, I'm WSA 9 meteorologist Tom Shot, and as promised, we're going to do a little streamcast here on YouTube and on our website. You know, I don't see anything that's too troubling right now, but we do have this tornado watch to our south. Uh, that was issued about 1015, so not that long ago. It goes until 1 o'clock, and uh, now we have severe thunderstorm warnings across much of the Culpeper area and Frederick. Um, so that's, I guess, good news. There's severe thunderstorm warnings as opposed to a tornado warning. Uh, Chris, you give me some information on that. That would be fantastic. We'll show you the radar and, you know, a couple of things should kind of pop out at you. I mean, these storms are moving almost due south to north. They're also moving at 40 to almost 50 miles per hour. So we don't have the traditional elements in place for a tornadic or severe weather outbreak per se. We don't have the, you know, the sunshine, the high humidity, but we have other things going for us. Uh, upper level uh, support is a very good and it's a pretty dynamic system. So this is a pretty interesting line uh, down toward uh, Charlottesville uh, as that rolls eastward and northward. So we're going to watch that. Storms have popped up too around Winchester uh, in the immediate metro. Nothing crazy. In fact, in D.C. inside the Beltway, it's generally been dry uh, the past couple of hours. We'll kind of zoom in again and you see the storm out toward Winchester. That's pretty hefty. Uh, that's rainfall rates at a pretty good clip. In fact, we can go ahead and just talk about these rainfall rates. So we're looking at uh, rainfall rates on this one, probably in excess of an inch per hour, maybe down over here, just, you know, just down 340. Uh, rainfall rates two inches per hour. So that's a pretty good storm. The good news is that they're moving so fast, I don't think we'll see any massive flooding from these storms, but there could be some brief street flooding. Uh, hopefully everybody's, you know, in bed and, and tucked in uh, front royal uh, in terms of rainfall uh, rates only about six tenths uh, per hour. The one out toward Upperville is not terribly strong right now. Uh, it's got about a half an inch uh, per hour. So but we're watching all of these storms and they're moving pretty quickly. So again, in terms of when we're going to potentially see heavy storms or severe weather is going to be in the next uh, hour or so. Um, I think it may be, I think the threat may be over before we get to a one o'clock, but still we've got to, we've got a ways to go. So let's go ahead. I want to zoom out a little bit here and sort of show you a bigger picture down uh, to the south. Okay. And these storms are pretty hefty down toward Culpeper. And we're looking at, uh, again, potentially Gusty winds, 40, 50 miles per hour. And that's kind of what we've been talking about all day. We've been more worried about straight line winds and damaging winds that way as opposed to uh, isolated tornadoes. Uh, we're seeing a couple of showers now pop up or, or north of uh, Olney, kind of on the Frederick uh, County and Montgomery County line. But in the immediate metro, it's, it's not crazy yet. But out toward Winchester and down toward Culpeper, it, it is um, a, a little bit uh, crazy, as it were. So let's kind of go down here just a little bit. Um, Boom. OK, there we are. So here are the severe thunderstorm warnings. So Culpeper, Madison, Orange and Spotsylvania till 1215. Now that's bad news, but the good news is you guys are partly under the tornado watch. So the good news is it's not a tornado warning. It's a severe thunderstorm warning. Take those seriously. I mean, they have winds of 50, 60 miles per hour and also some uh, heavy rain. We also have another severe thunderstorm warning farther south down, uh, you know, toward the Richmond area, kind of between Fredericksburg and um, Richmond. But this is a pretty heavy little storm right here towards Charlottesville, and this is all going to lift up to the north uh, northeast. So uh, Warrenton, you're kind of in the crosshairs of, of these storms down to your south, and they're moving uh, again at like 50 miles an hour, moving at a, pr at a pretty good at a pretty good clip. Um, I can try to show you, you know, how fast they're, they're moving and they're uh, they're going to be, you know, waking you up here in a little bit if you're still with me here. So we'll kind of put this up to the north. So, you know, Warrington, Upperville on our storm tracker about 1230, uh, Midland at about 1212, uh, Warrington at about 1215, Marshall 1220. So this this is a pretty robust uh, line of storms. Again, the good news is I don't see any rotation uh, right now, so that's good. But we see heavy rain. We know the rainfall rates down here are about an inch, inch and a quarter per hour. And we know that we're still going to see some gusty winds. Remember, anytime you see a severe thunderstorm warning, that means it has to have winds of 58 miles per hour or higher and or one inch diameter hail, size of a quarter. Don't see any hail in this, so uh, more than likely we're picking up the winds, but not rotating winds. So that is, um, I think that's pretty, pretty good news. Let's go back, uh, go kind of recenter here. And we have, again, light activity, Montgomery County, Frederick County line. This is all ground clutter. Don't worry about that. 
Uh, but these storms out toward Winchester and down toward Culpeper are, um, they're not troubling yet, but they're heavy. And these just popped up too uh, in Southern Maryland, like, like in the last half an hour that popped up St. Mary's County and also into, uh, into Calvert County. All right, so we're going to go forward for a minute. I'm going to tell you where these storms are going to go uh, as we go through the next, uh, you know, couple of hours. And again, the next couple of hours, that's what's going to be uh, critical. So we'll zoom in. Not a huge storm, but you know, that might give you the rumble of thunder. It's going to move across 50 here in about about five minutes. Now, this is our local model and this is midnight. Notice it keeps the heavy activity well to the west of us, well to the west of DC. Now, if you were with us uh, earlier this afternoon, at this time frame at midnight, it had a bullseye over DC, a pretty big, huge storm over DC. Now it's pulled things back to the west and it's also pulled things back and kept some big storms into the mountains. And we always said we thought Cumberland, kind of a triangle, Cumberland, Winchester, Hagerstown had a better chance of severe weather. And now it's kind of slowing down a little bit and it kind of continues as we go into the uh, midnight hour. Now we'll advance this by one o'clock. We still have these strong southerly winds. See the arrows? Anytime you have a southerly wind, you have the potential uh, for severe weather. Uh, that's going to make up for uh, some of the lack of the heating that we had today between the surface winds and the winds aloft. Uh, we have some things going for big time storms tonight. This is one o'clock, big storm uh, right through Leesburg. Another one just to the south of DC, kind of on the uh, river there, kind of inching its way into Charles County. That's at one o'clock. By two o'clock, some storms over into Prince George's County, but now mainly north of town. Notice how St. Mary's County and Culver County, you have light storms, but not heavy. It's all shades of greens. So that's just light. It's the red and orange and yellow you got to worry about. So that's two o'clock. So again, this is slowed down a little bit. By 6 a.m., notice the winds now are southwest. Okay, that's a drier wind for us, and eventually they'll become west-southwest. In fact, out west of the divide, they're already west-southwest. Now, in the morning, yes, we'll have a couple of leftover showers. Um, nothing severe, and I think most of us will be dry just with the winds. And even though the cold front goes through, we're still upper 50s, low 60s. That's pretty good uh, for April. By 9 o'clock, some showers possible east of I-95, but most of us are dry and temperatures uh, in the 50s. Notice the winds are now pretty much due west, and they'll be screaming. Uh, oddly enough, it's going to be a, a windier day Saturday than, sun, than a Friday, and I'll show you that in a second. By 1 o'clock, yeah, we have a couple of afternoon sprinkles. Not a huge deal. Would not plan around that. Uh, temperatures now still in the 60s, about 59 in Hagerstown, but mainly in the mid 60s with a couple of afternoon showers. If for some reason your travels takes you west of Cumberland, miserable cold rain showers all day long. Now, by 6 p.m. on Friday, we're dry. We have a little bit of sun. That's the base map color. So it'll be a little bit of sun as we go through uh, tomorrow and then temperatures Mid 60s, pretty nice. So it's going to be dry for your Friday night plans. But as I mentioned earlier, if you're trying to, you know, grill on a roof and your, you know, your grills facing west, that's going to be tough. <laughs> uh, the flames gonna have a tough time. A staying lit and B staying even. Uh, temperatures by nine o'clock in the 50s uh, and generally dry. I wouldn't pay that much attention to a couple of isolated showers. Futurecast still trying to crank that out. All right. So this is the uh, tornado threat index. And this is midnight, so 12 minutes from now, this is the index. Now, this is a computer model, and it's just one factor we look at in determining whether or not we're going to see, you know, severe weather. But we didn't see this earlier. Uh, this is an enhanced area. Before, we saw it all low and west of town. Then we saw it all low over town. And then just in the last three hours, now we see an enhanced area down into southern Maryland. What's odd about that? at least to me, is that if you saw a future cast, it had no big storms into southern Maryland at all. It kind of ignored that. By the time we get to 130, the index is low across the board. It's blue. It's low. And it's essentially uh, east of I-95 and moving across the bay. So I really think by 1 o'clock, uh, we'll be in pretty good shape in the metro. Not to say we couldn't still have a, a big storm. Uh, 3 o'clock, everything is pretty much gone. Uh, 6 o'clock, pretty much across the bay. Now, We'll talk winds. Don't think we're going to see any wind advisories in the metro on Friday. We might on Saturday. So this is a forecast snapshot in time. There are the arrows. So you got west southwest winds in the morning. Uh, those numbers are wind gusts, uh, forecast wind gusts and miles per hour. So we can see wind gusts tomorrow morning, 20 to 25 miles per hour. By lunchtime, 31 mile per hour wind gusts possible. Leesburg, 
Wouldn't want to take lunch outside. Just too too windy and, and, and miserable. And temps still kind of only in the low 60s. By 530, winds are gusting over 30 in Gaithersburg and Leesburg. And, you know, even down in southern Maryland, gusting to 20 to 25 plus. Now, by tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, winds will be gusting, but not as strong. Uh, but still breezy, kind of in the 15 to 20 mile per hour range. But then they ramp back up on Saturday, uh, 845 in the morning. Winds are gusting 32, Frederick 36 in Leesburg, uh, even almost 30 mile per hour wind gusts in La Plata. So again, Saturday's going to be windier than Friday. Crazy. Uh, by Friday afternoon, winds are now gusting 35 to almost 40 uh, north of town and over 30 mile per hour wind gusts in D.C. Okay, so. Here we go. Morning shower, afternoon shower, but windy, windy on Saturday in the 60s. And you know what? It won't be like last weekend when, you know, it was windy and it was like cold because we were in the 50s. But wind with temps in the 60s will be cool. Then on Sunday, uh, a stray evening shower, but we're in the upper 70s. Not bad. Monday, maybe a sprinkle wouldn't plan around that upper 70s. And then on Tuesday, some storms possible late. Uh, but the bulk of the day is dry. You can play golf. Uh, we're looking at near 80. Then low 80s on Wednesday, low 80s on Thursday. Uh, Wednesday is recycle day. A couple showers possible late. Recycle day runs 9 o'clock to 6.30 uh, p.m. on uh, Wednesday, and that's at the Reston Town Center. And you can go to our website and find out what you can bring. I'll give you a hint. You can bring electronics and old pairs of glasses. And then a shower possible Thursday. Uh, temperature still back into the uh, low 80s. Okay. Before I let you go, we're going to go through radar again. So here's the tornado watch until 1 o'clock. These are warnings, which again, bad but good because they're severe thunderstorm warnings. Okay, but they're not tornado warnings. So I like, I like that. It means the storms uh, are not producing any rotation, but they're producing winds of 50 to 60 miles per hour. You know, we always sort of kind of take it for granted. If, oh, we're not under a tornado warning. That's great. We're under severe thunderstorm warning instead. That can still do plenty of damage. That can still bring down trees uh, and, and cause some flooding. So it's better, yes, but not perfect. Now, here's the radar and pretty good storms go all the way back to uh, Cumberland at this hour. Problem is with this system, it's, it's just having a hard time moving eastward. It's kind of mainly moving, you know, south to north and inching ever so slowly off to the east, but very, very slowly. So here's the radar past couple of hours, and this last image is about, you know, a minute old. and. These are pretty good storms down toward Culpeper. Don't see any rotation uh, yet with those storms, and we'll, we can look at that in, in a second. Uh, that was a pretty big storm here in Baltimore, north of Baltimore. I just saw that. That's over the last couple of hours. Um, wow, that's kind of gone now. So we'll zoom in. We have this in Winchester down toward Front Royal. Uh, pretty good storm. Um, and don't see any wind with that. And we can kind of check the wind uh, if you want. I, I think we can, we can check this for you. Let's just kind of go like right here. OK, and I don't see and I know this looks weird, but I'm just looking for what we call a couplet. And that's just simply wind going away from the radar and to the radar. And that would cause rotation. I don't um, I don't see that. So that's good. We can check, you know, rainfall amounts and rainfall rates rather. Um, probably the heaviest be right about there. Yeah, a little over an inch per hour. So, you know, that's that's hefty. And these are going to kind of move almost due north. So it's going to rain, you know, where that rainfall uh, I just took. Now it's gone down to 1500s, but where we took that query just a minute ago, it's going to see some more bouts of heavy rain the next uh, 20, 30 minutes as this kind of trains uh, northward. So that's um, that's a pretty good, pretty good storm. Uh, I want to go back down now to the south and we're going to go back into, you know, down toward Culpeper. Yeah, and even a little further south. <clears throat> All right, so there's your severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, for Culpeper and Madison and Orange uh, and Spotsy uh, until 12:15. So um, again, I don't see any rotation with that. Um, we can certainly check that though. Let's just go ahead and check that while we're here, right? So we'll kind of put it down here and just see if we can see anything. Now there's nothing. That's not even showing up right now. That's 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 okay. That's just uh, rainfall and some gusty winds. Now again, the winds could be 50 to 60 miles per hour, but that's pretty good. Let's go further south, okay? Um, let's just go down a little bit further south. I want to kind of see what's heading our way. So that's still pretty heavy activity uh, to, to uh, down toward Charlottesville. 
and also between uh, Louisa and Orange. And again, this is, you know, hauling off to the north and we already have the severe thunderstorm warnings till 1215. Um, hunches they'll probably extend those in terms of uh, rainfall rates. Pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Let's go down here. What do we have here? Uh, aha, we got a train of possible here. Radar indicated. So we'll watch this carefully in case this pops into a uh, tornado warning uh, just north of uh, Louisa. And that could again head up toward Culpeper and uh, our area, our, our, our viewing area. So that's one one thing you always always harp on this. Geography is good to know. Good to know your counties and cities south and west of you so that when those warnings go off, you can. Oh, OK, that's that's heading our way. So we'll watch that uh, carefully. We'll see, query this one. Tornado possible there. Uh, radar indicated. OK, that's around Ruckersville and Orange. So these are the ones that we have to watch over the next, uh, I would say, hour or so, because these could pop some. Um, they could pop some tornado warnings uh, right now. There's just severe thunderstorm warnings. And remember that it's radar indicated and the algorithm hasn't quite tripped uh, yet, but it, it could. Remember, we're still looking at, you know, severe thunderstorm warnings means it has to have winds of 50 to 60 miles per hour, at least gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour. So that's um, that's kind of interesting. Let's let's kind of let's see if we can go back a little go down a little further. Just see how far south these things go. OK, so they're still pretty hefty. These are pretty robust storms. Now we're down to 64. We're down near the, it's the Richmond viewing area, but I want to just see what's south here. Um, as we, you know, go northward. I mean, because I'm kind of concerned about these moving uh, toward our area. Um, again, nothing crazy right now. Culpepper, just moderate rain. And, you know, Sperryville, you got some heavy rain on the way. And there's one um, here. There's one here just, um, just over here. That's a pretty good storm, too, uh, just south of Fredericksburg. Um, so these are going to kind of work their way up 95. And something popping just a little bit around uh, Stafford. So, uh, again, you know, these storms may or may not contain tornadoes, but they're going to contain gusty winds. And that's kind of what we were concerned about all day. Caitlin and I mentioned this at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. We were more concerned about straight line winds uh, than uh, rotation. Uh, not to say we can't see an isolated tornado. And we, that was one of our threats. We left it low, but we talked about it being on the table. It's possible. So this... Um, so this we'll watch this storm uh, too. Uh, that's that's something worth watching. Let's go back to home for a second, and we'll see you know where things are in the grand scheme of things. This again is ground clutter. Don't worry about that. But most of the activity now is Winchester out toward Culpeper, and then down toward Fredericksburg. But I'm kind of concerned as these begin to move off uh, to the north, um, and you know they have a lot of upper air support. Again, it's not a typical. Uh, tornado threat. Remember, most tornadoes occur between 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. And that's because of the daytime heating. We didn't have any daytime heating today, but we have a lot of dynamics with this system. We have strong winds at the surface, strong winds aloft, jet streams running at about, about 100, 110 knots, which is hefty. We also have some fronts moving through. We have a stationary front trying to lift north. We have a cold front trying to pull uh, through the uh, from west to east. Um, so you get you get near what we call a triple point and that can be kind of dicey too in terms of um, severe weather. So there you go. OK, we will zoom in a little bit and I want to go north on this just just a little bit more um, up toward just north of Chantilly here. OK, not a crazy storm there, but these are a little bigger uh, on the Montgomery well, kind of straddling the, the river between Montgomery County and, and Loudoun County. And this is a well, Heavy little storm, uh, Montgomery County side, south of Poolsville. We'll query these and we'll see um, rainfall rates. My guess is maybe six tenths, seven tenths. Um, yeah, 45 hundredths and 56 hundredths. So again, not not severe, but eh, we got to watch those. Got to watch those um, too. Okay, so let's go ahead and we will um, go through. I want to go through the um, uh, future cast one more time. And then um, I'll shut up for a while. Um, but we may have to come back. I mean, if there's a train of warning, we were going to come back and, and come back on the air. So here's the big picture. A couple storms popping there, La Southern Frederick County, kind of along the river, Western Montgomery County. But the lion's share of activity is out to the west. 
by far and away. West of Hagerstown through Winchester down toward Culpeper. These storms are the ones that we are uh, watching. Now, what does Futurecast do with these storms? Keeps them west, keeps them strong, uh, keeps them, but keeps them west. And it pops up a couple of, you know, isolated showers and storms east of us. But the main bulk and the biggest uh, threat, I think, of severe weather is still east of us. Uh, this is midnight right now. By 1.30, they lift them a little bit north uh, through Leesburg, kind of in between Martinsburg and uh, Frederick. Also, they pop one in western Charles County. By 2 o'clock, now they're lifting further north. This could hit Bowie. Uh, so you rumble of thunder is certainly possible. Um, um, so if the uh, master highlights put you to sleep, this may wake you up again. Hopefully you're not, not asleep. Uh, 60s, though, still at 2 o'clock in the morning. That's pretty good. By 6 o'clock in the morning, yes, we're going to have some showers, uh, but these will not be severe or anything. They'll be few and far between. Tomorrow, you've got to just prepare for winds up to 30 miles an hour and then prepare for more sunshine and winds uh, 30 to uh, 35 miles per hour as we get into, um, say, Saturday. It's just weird. It's going to be windier on Saturday than, than Friday. So morning shower, afternoon shower, Saturday, windy on Sunday. A stray evening shower uh, uh, on, on Monday, but I wouldn't worry about that. And then maybe a sprinkle on Tuesday, wouldn't worry about that. Uh, oh, yeah, it's midnight. Here's what happens on our computer. So it's starting with tomorrow, and tomorrow is Saturday because today's Friday. But I really want that to say Friday, so just stay with me here for a minute. Um, so just back everything up a day. So morning sprinkle on Monday, some showers late on Tuesday, a few sprinkles on Thursday, recycle day is Wednesday. And even if it showers on Wednesday, we will come get the stuff out of your car at the Reston Town Center. So for now, uh, we will uh, take a break. If anything pops, we'll come back on the air. If it's a trade or warning, if we see any damage, we'll come back with a streamcast. But uh, for now, uh, it's after midnight after all. Uh, I'm meteorologist Topper Shut. Let's get some rest. <laughs>